a couple of my subscribers has asked um, around arming the KK 2.0 board, and this is the same for the KK 2.1 and 2.5 boards as well that are available now. Um, I thought I'd do this very quick video just to show how that happens. There's been some questions around, you know, not seeing the throttle channel and other bits and bobs. So let me go through it very quickly in this video to show you. So here's my very first big size quad that I ever got, built for me by Bobby Pine on RC Groups. Um, it, it goes by the name of Armaton. It's a CNC um, aluminium model that uh, really kind of got me hooked on quads and the rest as they say is history but it's one of the few that still uses the KK 2.0 board because I actually prefer the multi-wee for uh, FPV the self-level and other bits and pieces is a bit cleverer so what we have here we have the model turned on if I zoom in we'll kind of look at the screen and we'll kind of go through the bits and pieces so here we are zoomed in onto the display. Apologies, it's a little bit washed out. That's just the backlight that's uh, confusing the camera slightly. But you can see it says safe on the top. Underneath it says self level, then um, talks about the battery voltage and then talks about the roll and pitch angle. Those roll and pitch angles are all to do with auto level. You need to make sure that you've calibrated the accelerometers so that when this thing sat on a level um, surface, it reads zero and zero, but you only actually get numbers in there if once you've armed the board and then disarmed it and going back to this screen, it then reads out those numbers. So let me very quickly talk to you about how you arm it. To arm the board, what you do is you hold the stick to the, the throttle stick at the bottom and you push it to the right for a second. You get that tone to let you know it's armed. You also get that beeping noise if it isn't level, which it isn't for the camera. And you get the little red light in the top left hand corner. Now, to disarm it, you keep the throttle stick to the bottom and you push it to the left. And then it goes back to safe mode. So that is just to make sure that when you plug it in, it automatically defaults to safe and you only then arm it when you're ready to fly. Problems you might have when you're trying to arm your KK 2.0 board is the fact that the KK 2.0 can't see enough movement on the rudder channel or the low position for the throttle. So in those cases, what you need to do is you need to go into the end points of that channel and increase the end points so that you have enough room. So here on this model, I was lucky I didn't need to increase the travel adjust for both the rudder and the throttle. Both 100% worked fine for me. But if you find that it won't arm, then just increase these numbers above 100% for both the low end throttle and the left and right for the rudder. And that should allow you to arm and disarm the board. Hopefully that helps. Thanks for watching. Please comment and subscribe. Happy flying.